humble obeisances to the devotee who has undergone spiritual initiation, diksha, and is engaged in worshipping the deity. And one should associate with and faithfully serve that pure devotee who has advanced in undeviated devotional service and whose heart is completely devoid of the propensity to criticize others. Sri Upadha Samrathe Pancham Slok Anubad Je Bhagavad Bhakta Bhagavan Sri Krishna Dibba Naam Kirtan Karen Take Mone Mone Adar Karao Chit Evang Jini Dikhi Toh Hai Sri Vigraher Sevae Pratwa Achen Tar Uddish Se Sasrudhya Pranam Nibedan Karao Chit Aak Je Suddha Bhakta Nirantar Bhagavad Bhajane प्रकृत उन्नत जार हृदय अन्नर नंदादी होते सम्पूर्ण मुक्त तार संग करा उचित एवं तार अनुगत है तार सेवा करा उचित परपोर्ट इन ऑर्डर टू इंटेलिजेंटली अप्लाई द सिक्स फोल्ड लविंग रिसिप्रोकेशंस मेंशन इन द प्रीवियस वर्स वन मस्ट सेलेक्ट प्रॉपर पर्सन्स विद केयरफुल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन Sri Rupa Goswami therefore advises that we should meet with the Vaishnavas in an appropriate way according to their particular status. In this verse he tells us how to deal with three types of devotees, the Kanista Adhikari, Madhyama Adhikari and Uttama Adhikari. Kanista Adhikari is a neophyte who has received the Harinam initiation from the spiritual master and is trying to chant the holy name of Krishna. One should respect such a person within his mind as a Kanista Vaishnava. A Madhyam Adhikari has received spiritual initiation from the spiritual master and has been fully engaged by him in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. The Madhyam Adhikari should be considered to be situated midway in devotional service. The Uttama Adhikari or highest devotee is one who is very advanced in devotional service. An Uttama Adhikari is not interested in blaspheming others. His heart is completely clean and he has attained the realized state of Onalai Krishna consciousness. According to Sri Rupa Goswami, the association and service of such a Mahabhagavata or perfect Vaishnava are most desirable. Go ahead. Ei Upadeshamrita Pancham Sloke Tatpurje Purve Sloke Prithivinimaji Chaiti Vidhir Katha Bornana Karahayache Shegli Buddhimutta Sange Bhakti Puti Prayer Kotyam Evan Satakata Sange अधिकार भी दे भक्तों निर्वाचन करते हैं। सही जनों सिलोरुपों को समी भक्तेर अधिकार निरुपण करें तार संगे उपजुक्त आचरण करा निर्देश दिए चल। इस लोके तिन कनिष्ठों मध्यम और उत्तम ये तीन अधिकारी संगे आचरण विधि कथा बोले चल। कनिष्ठों अधिकारी हैं चल नवीन भक्त जिन्हें साध गुरु काचे दीक्षा एक कोनिस्ट वचन के मने मने सद्धा जनानो उचित और मध्यम अधिकारी सद गुरु काचे ब्रह्मा दिक्का लाभ करे और प्रकृत भगवत सेवाएं सर्वदा नियोजित थाके न सुतरां मध्यम अधिकारी भगवत अनुसन्ने मध्यवर्ती स्तरे अधिष्ठित बले वन्न होय थाके न सेस्ट भक्तो और तब उत्तम अधिकारी भगवत भजने सर्वोच्च स्तरे अवस्थन क तिनी कारण निंदा करेना तार विदाय संपूर्ण निर्मल एवं तिनी विशुद्ध कृष्ण होते स्थितावस्था लाभ करें चल सुलरुपों का समी सही महाभागवत सुद्ध वचनवेद संगो और सेवा एकांत बांचनीय बोले उपदेश दिए चल सो वे रीडिंग वर्स नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम द नेक्टर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड हियर Remember in text number four, Rupa Goswami had suggested different ways in which we could show loving reciprocation to different devotees. 
আমরা উপদেশ অমৃতের এই পঞ্চম শ্লোক পাঠ করলাম এখানে শ্রী রূপগোস্বামী পাঠ নির্দেশ দিচ্ছেন যে পূর্ববর্তী চতুর্থ শ্লোকে যে প্রীতি বিনিময়ের লক্ষণ ছিল সেটা কার সঙ্গে কিভাবে প্রয়োগ করতে হবে সো জাস্ট লাইক অফারিং প্রসাদম অ্যান্ড অ্যাকসেপ্টিং প্রসাদম উই শুড আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড we take the remnants when we take remnants we want to take the remnants from the superior from the advanced devotee we wouldn't take the remnants from the, the neophyte devotee je bhabe kauke prasad deo ebong karo kach theke prasad grohon korar khetre eta bicharjo je amra unnato uttom bhakte je uchchisto prasad seta grohon korte pari kintu kono kanishto bhakte prasad grohon kora thik noy and similarly we want to inquire about krishna consciousness we we would not inquire from the junior devotee we want to inquire from the senior devotee thik je bhabe krishna tattva vigyan samparke anusandhan kora kartobo tai amader ei anusandhan kono junior konishtho bhakter nikot anusandhan korte jao uchit noy obosshoi ei anusandhan uttam adhikari bhakta ortho senior bhakter theke howa uchit So now Rupa Goswami is telling us how we can recognize who is a senior devotee and who is a junior devotee. Tai Sri Rupa Goswami pad ekhane ullekh korchen je ke se senior ba jyeshtho bhakto ar ke junior ba kanishtho bhakto. In the purport but in the in the first of all in the verse itself Rupa Goswami mentions how they have different there are three levels of devotees. and they have different tastes for the holy name ar ei shloka shlo rupokoshan bolna korchen kibhabe ei bhagavad bhakte tinte stor ebong ei tinte store tara kibhabe bhagavaner divya naam grohon koren someone's just began to chant the holy name and they you know they may, may not chant very regularly keu hoyto sobe bhagavaner naam jap kora shuru kore je kintu niyomito bhabe se jap kore na someone else has uh, is not only chanting the holy name but he is regular in his chanting and he's accepted initiation it men- mentions diksha this diksha means the second initiation the mantra initiation because it mentions that he's also engaged in worshiping the deity aur keu hoy to nishtha sokar niyomito jap korchen she ni dikha gran korchen e khetre dikha gran bolte bujhte hobe যে ওসে দ্বিতীয় অর্থাৎ ব্রাহ্মণ দীক্ষা কেননা তিনি বিগ্রহ অর্চনা করছেন আর এইভাবে তিনি সেবায় নিয়োজিত আছেন অন দা হাইয়েস্ট স্টেজ देयर इज वन द द पर्सन हु इज फिक्स्ड टोटली अब्जॉर्ब्ड इन डिवोशनल सर्विस এন্ড হি ডাজন্ট ক্রিটিসাইজ এনিবডি হি ইজ বাট হি ইজ ভেরি অ্যাকটিভ ইন ডুইং সার্ভিস ফর কৃষ্ণ আর শ্রেষ্ঠ ব্যক্তি উত্তম অধিকারী তিনি ভগবত ভজনের সর্বোচ্চ স্তরে অবস্থান করেন তিনি কারো নিন্দা করেন না তার হৃদয় সম্পূর্ণ নির্মল এবং তিনি বিশুদ্ধ কৃষ্ণ ভক্তি সিদ্ধ অবস্থা লাভ করেছেন সো দেন শ্রীল প্রাপস পারপোর্ট বিগিনস এন্ড প্রাপার আইডেন্টিফাইস থ্রি डिफरेंट লেভেলস অফ ডিভোটিস অ্যাজ কনিষ্ঠা মধ্যম এন্ড উত্তমা এবারে শ্লোক রূপা তাৎপর্য বর্ণনা করছেন এই ভক্তের তিনটে স্তর सर्वोच्च स्तर one may be recognized as being kanista majaman uttama according to uh his faith in the process of krishna consciousness but also it could be according to his uh, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures keu hoy to ei stor ta nirupan korte paren tar bishwas ebong acharan er upore ar obosshoi tar shastra gyan ar eglo bicharjo bishoy some people may have strong faith they may not have knowledge some people may have knowledge they may not have faith karo hoy to bishwas ko shraddha ache kintu gyan nei abar karo shastra gyan ache 
So the Kanista devotee, these different levels of devotees, they are also described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Description comes in the 11th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam. So we are going to look at the description first of all of the Kanista devotee. So it's described the Kanista devotee, he engages in the worship of the deity in the temple. But he does not behave properly towards other devotees or to even the ordinary people. He is considered to be a materialistic devotee. He only sees God in the temple. He only sees God in the deity. He cannot see the Lord being, who is situated everywhere in the, in the hearts of all living entities. We see in many parts of the world, people perform many sinful activities in their home or even out in the public. But when they go to the church or when they go to the temple, they will pray to God, Oh, give me mercy. Mm. They behave very well when they go to temple, but when they go home or when they are at work, they use all kinds of terrible language. They don't understand that the Lord is everywhere and He hears everything. So the Kanista, the one on the, this, this lowest level of devotion, this devotee, he cannot understand how the Lord is in everything and everywhere. So the Kanista devotee, he doesn't have the power to understand, uh, to, 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 he doesn't have the power to understand, to, to see how the Lord has, he doesn't have the, the ability to understand how the Lord has that power to be everywhere in, in everything. But at the same time, they can be very attached to worshipping the Lord in the temple and to worshipping the deity. And they often think of themselves as being very pious and religious. And they don't, they often think nobody is advanced as, nobody is advanced as, a, as advanced as they are. You cannot appreciate the activities of other devotees who are going out doing preaching work. And because he, because he cannot understand their activities, he will criticize them. 
আর যেহেতু সে তাদের কার্যকলাপ বুঝতে পারে না তাই তাদের সমালোচনা করতে থাকে আর হি উইল জাস্ট ইগনোর देम নেগলেক্ট देम অথবা তাদেরকে সে ভুলে যায় বা অবহেলা করে হি ডাজন্ট অ্যাপ্রিশিয়েট দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্স অফ গোইং আউট এন্ড প্রিচিং এন্ড গিভিং দ্য হোলি নেম টু পিপল সে এই যে বাইরে যাও গিয়ে প্রচার করা অন্যের কাছে যে ভগবানের দিব্য নাম বিতরণ করা এটার গুরুত্ব বুঝে না and often find that people on this lowest level they still have a taste for materialistic life are nimno store eto kichu kora sotto tar ei jolo jagotik jiboner proti ottodhik asokto thake and they they appreciate and they glorify materialistic people who are success people who are successful in the material world ar tai tara ki kore অন্য লোকের গুণগান করতে থাকে যারা জড় জাগতিক জীবনে কর্মক্ষেত্রে অনেক সাফল্য লাভ করেছে সো দে হ্যাভ দ্য কনিষ্ট ডিভোটি স্টিল হ্যাজ দ্য বডিলি কনসেপশন ইজ অ্যাট্রাক্টেড বাই ম্যাটেরিয়াল অপুলেন্স তাই এই কনিষ্ট ভক্তের যেহেতু দেহ দেহাত্মবোধ অত্যন্ত প্রবল তাই এই জড় জাগতিক আকর্ষণের দ্বারা সে সহজেই প্রভাবিত হয় এন্ড if if for the madhyam devotee if one of the preachers sometimes they when they may criticize or they may they may talk about the non devotees about how they're sinful and how they're very fallen and so the kanista devotee hears this he may not approve of what they're saying to madhyam adhikari je tu onek samay bhakta ba onno abodhi loke des sansposha kore tara hoyto onek samay ta samalochona korte pare তো তিনি সেটাকে গ্রহণ করেন না সেটাকে কন্ডন করেন এবং তিনি তদনুরূপ আচরণ করেন কনিষ্ট ডিভোটিস দে সামটাইমস দে আর থিংকিং দ্যাট দিস পিপল হু আর নট ডিভোটিস আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি গুড পিপল অলদো দে আর ভেরি ম্যাটেরিয়ালিস্টিক কিন্তু কনিষ্ট ভক্তরা মনে করে কি ও এই লোক তো ভক্ত না কিন্তু তারপরে খুব ভালো লোক ই থিংকস ডিভোশনাল সার্ভিস ইজ জাস্ট সামথিং হুইচ ইউ ডু ইন দ্য টেম্পল উইথ দ্য ডিটি আপনি মনে করেন যে ভক্তিমূলক সেবাটা হচ্ছে যা কিছু মন্দিরে করা হয় এই বিগ্রহ নিয়ে যে পূজা অর্চনা সেটাই বাট ই থিংস ইজ নো হার্ম ইন এনজয়িং সাম থিংস হুইচ হ্যাভ নাথিং টু ডু উইথ ডিভোশন আর সে অনেক কিছু নিয়ে ভোগ বিলাসে করতে যায় যদিও সেটার সঙ্গে ভক্তির কোনো সম্পর্ক নেই সো দেন দে গেট অ্যাঙ্গ্রি হোয়েন দ্য প্রিচার স্টার্ট টু ফাইন্ড ফল্ট উইথ দ্য ম্যাটেরিয়ালিস্টিক পিপল আর তারা অনেক সময় কনিষ্ঠেরা অনেক সময় ক্রোধান্বিত হয়ে যায় যখন এই মধ্যম অধিকারী ভক্ত প্রচারের ক্ষেত্রে কোনো বিষয়কে খণ্ডন করে বা অন্যের কোনো সমালোচনা সো অলদো দিস পিপল হ্যাভ দ্য কনিষ্ঠ ডিভোটি হ্যাজ সাম ফেথ ইন কৃষ্ণ ইটস এ লোয়েস্ট স্ট্যান্ডার্ড অফ ডিভোশন যদিও এটা ভক্তি সর্বনিম্ন স্তর কিন্তু তারপরও কনিষ্ঠ অধিকারী কৃষ্ণের প্রতি বিশ্বাস রয়েছে so they have to follow the rules and regulations of the deity worship and by following the rules and regulations of deity worship gradually they come to a higher standard ar ei bhabe tara jokhon bigraha seba puja archanar niyom vidhi jotno sahakare palan kore chole tokhon tara ei stor theke uchchotor store unnito hote pare but they have to be very careful not to commit offenses against other devotees কিন্তু তাদেরকে অত্যন্ত সাবধান থাকতে হবে যাতে অন্য কোনো ভক্তের প্রতি অপরাধ না হয় ইফ দে কমিট সাম অফেন্সেস अगेंस्ट ডিভোটিস দেন দে উইল স্টপ देयर অ্যাডভান্সমেন্ট কিন্তু যদি তারা কোনো ভক্তের প্রতি কোনো অপরাধ করে তাহলে তাদের এই অগ্রগতি স্তব্ধ হয়ে যাবে সো সামটাইমস আ sometimes they may disrespect the demigods kokhono kokhono tara hoyto devotader ko obogya kore said if we disrespect the demigods then we won't get devotional service ar jodi devotader ko ninda kore tahole seo bhakti jibon onek samoy agrogoti labh korte parbe na demigods are all there 
all devotees of the Supreme Lord and they have to be respected because they have a big position in the universe. And if we don't respect the demigods, uh, maybe we're jealous or envious of them, then it's bad for our, we will not get, we cannot do devotional service. When by offering respect to the demigods, we're showing respect to the Supreme Lord Vishnu. At the same time, we know that the demigods are not the Supreme. They're simply assistants of the Supreme Lord. There's only one Supreme Lord. So, the Lord has a mission in the material world and the Lord's mission is to reform, to reclaim all the conditioned souls. And the, the Lord brings them back to the spiritual world by showing them the, the cruel laws of the material world, how much suffering is in the material world. Then it encourages these, the fallen souls to go back to Godhead. So the demigods are described in the scriptures to be like limbs, like parts of the body of the Supreme Lord. Right. Of course in the Bhagavad Gita we read things like People whose minds are full of material desires worship the demigods. But there's also devotees who worship the demigods. The gopis worship Kalyani to get Krishna for their husband. And Rukmini, on the day of her marriage, she was going to, the, she was taken to the temple to worship the goddess Durga. On the, this is the day when she was supposed to be married to uh, um, Sushupal. Of course, she was going to worship Durga, so her, she was praying to Durga that she could get Krishna for her husband. So we also have to, we, we also cultivate important people to get them to, to service to Krishna. And so we offer res we should offer respects to the demigods so that the demigods will give us facility for the service of Krishna. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he is taught that we could do Sankirtan, the chanting of the holy names as the only process for this age. But we should not think that this means that we can offend the demigods. Because the demigods are also Vaishnavas. And if we don't respect 
the demigods then we are put into the darkest region of ignorance. So the the, the Kanista Adhikari he cannot understand that. But the Uttama, the topmost devotees, they understand this. So the Kanista cannot properly respect other devotees. And so he cannot respect people who are not even devotees. So they, can, they cannot preach, they're useless for preaching work. Because they cannot deal properly with people. And although he has faith in the deity, his faith is not really based on the statements, it's not according to the scriptures. Because if he was following the scriptures, he would know that the Lord is not only in the deity, he is in the heart of everyone. And so Krishna's association is very, it's very special to get the association of Krishna, but it doesn't just only come in the deity. Yeah, the important qualification, a very essential qualification of a Vaishnava is that amanena manadena, they can offer all respects to others. But the Kanista Adhikari, he doesn't have that mood. He can't, you know, he's not respectful to others. But somehow, if he has faith in the scriptures, if he tries to understand the statements of the scriptures, then one day he will be gradually elevated to a second class and first class. So he should, he has to very seriously worship the deity. The deity is an incarnation of Krishna. Right. The Krishna himself comes in five different manifestations. Right, he has his original form, the original person is Krishna. And then there's the Chaturvyuha, the quadruple expansion. Vasudev, Sankarshanani, Rura Prajumna. Then he has his pastime incarnations, Vaibha Prakash. And then there's the super soul, the Antaryami or the Chitra Guru. And then the deity, the Archa. So from these five forms, the form of the deity and the form of the super soul, they are always present. The others, the original form, the Chaturvyuha and the Vaibha, the pastime expansions, they are sometimes present, sometimes not. So within that deity, within the form of the deity, all these forms of the Lord are also there. 
আর এই জন্য বিগ্রহের মধ্যেও ভগবানের এই নিত্যরূপ এবং সেটা স্বয়ং রূপে প্রকাশ থাকে if they if he will worship the deity if you do the worship with the right mood even though he's in the lowest stage of devotion but he can be elevated ar jodi ei bhabe bigra aradhana kore ebong monobhab ta sothik thake tahole she ei nimno stare thaklo she sahajei kripa bole she unnato bhakte porinoto hobe because all of these expansions enter into the deity and and so the deity also exhibits it's also like the super soul is also with the devotee in his daily life ar bigraher moddhe ei somosto rup bhagavaner sansar prakash thake tini obosshoi sei tar hridaye je paramatma ache sei onuprerona tini dan koren ar onnanno bisoy ei bigraha thake onuprerona when you worship the deity every morning then within you will think of the deity the whole day the thought of the deity will be there with you in the day আর যখন প্রাতঃকালে এই বিগ্রহের অর্চনা পূজা শুরু করবেন তখন সারা দিন ব্যাপী এই বিগ্রহের কথা স্মরণ করে তখন চেতনায় হবে যে সব দিন তার কথা চিন্তায় অনুপ্রেরণায় আসছে তাই এই পরমাত্মা এবং বিগ্রহ সবসময় ভক্তকে উন্নতি লাবে কৃপা করে but gradually becomes advanced and is able to understand because on in the beginning all the kanista knows is the deity he just knows the deity the deity he doesn't know the super soul he doesn't know other things তো প্রথম অবস্থায় সে বিগ্রহকে সাধারণ বিগ্রহ বলেই মনে করে সে জানে না এই বিগ্রহই উন্নতি লাভ করতে পারেন does not want to remain on that platform you should want to advance ar je ei konishtha stare ache tar chirokale konishtha stare thaka uchit na obosshoi tar prayas korte hobe jate she unnato hote pare big on the lowest platform they don't they only appreciate the deity they don't even appreciate the lord's paraphernalia or the entourage which is there with the lord emon ke nimno stare she bigraha ke skar korlo তার যে সমস্ত বিভিন্ন উপকরণ সামগ্রী সেগুলোকে সে ঠিক মানতে চায় না দেয়ার ইজ আ নাইস পাস টাইম ইন দ্য চৈতন্য চরিতমৃতা when maharaj pratabruda wanted to meet lord chaitanya lord chaitanya refused চৈতন্য চরিতমৃতে একটা সুন্দর লীলা আছে যখন প্রতাপরুদ্র রাজা চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু সাক্ষাৎ পেতে গিয়েছিল মহাপ্রভু তখন তাকে প্রত্যাখ্যান করেন but but uh, Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya has said no this king is really is a good devotee you should give him mercy so Lord Chaitanya took off a piece of his cloth and he sent it to the king Ah jokhon Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya je Mahaprabhu je na Pratap Rudra ekjon khub unnato byakti bhalo bhakto sei nana bhabe bolchen tokhon Mahaprabhu tar ekta uttoriyo bostro oi bollen je thik ache eta diye dao And when the king got that piece of cloth from Lord Chaitanya the king installed that piece of cloth like a deity and he began to worship that cloth just like it was the supreme lord ar mahaprabhu re vastra ta jokhon prataputra maharaj peyechilen tokhon take tini rekhe seta puja korchilen je bhabe tini bhagwan ke je bhabe puja koren sei vastra ta rekhe mm so lord chaitanya was very pleased when he heard this ar jokhon eta sunlen tokhon chaitanya mahaprabhu ottonto santosht hoye because the worship of those things in relation to krishna is even greater than the worship of the lord himself to je gulo krishna's sange samparkito tar aradhana korate eshta krishna's aradhana theke onek krishna beshi santushto han so one of the problems which the kanista has that that he cannot appreciate krishna's devotees he cannot appreciate the paraphernalia or the devote the the entourage of krishna এই কনিষ্ঠ ভক্তের সমস্যাটা হচ্ছে 
সে অন্য ভক্তদেরকে যথাযথভাবে গ্রহণ করতে পারে না সে কৃষ্ণের এই সমস্ত প্যারাপেনেলিয়া অর্থাৎ ফটো আদি আলেখ্য আদি এই সমস্ত বিষয়গুলোকেও তো সে স্বীকার করে না So this indicates that this person, the, this kind, this Kanista devotee, still has some attachment to sense gratification, or is even th maybe thinking about liberation. And a Kanista bhaktir, on its own, Kanista story, that jala jagati asakti, eva mukti ra kangkhau thake. Prabhupada often said the paintings with only Krishna, they're impersonal. Prabhupada never liked to see Krishna on his own. He wanted to see Krishna with his friends and with his entourage. Yeah, Krishna should have his gopis, he should have his cows, he should have jewelry. There should be, you know, Krishna's paraphernalia should be there. কৃষ্ণের সঙ্গে তার গোপীরা রয়েছে তার অলঙ্কার বেষ্টিত রয়েছে আবি রয়েছে জঙ্গল তিনি সপার্শ্ব রয়েছে সো কৃষ্ণ ইজ নট কমপ্লিট ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট সি কৃষ্ণ অলং উইথ অল অফ দিস অন্তরাজ ওর ইজ প্যারফিনিয়া তাই কৃষ্ণ তিনি তার এই পার্শ্ব এই সমস্ত উপকরণ সামগ্রী এগুলো ছাড়া তিনি কি করে সম্পূর্ণ So that mercy of Krishna is distributed by Krishna's devotees. And so we, we have to give respect to the Krishna's devotees. And if we if we're not interested in Krishna's paraphernalia or Krishna's devotees, then this is very bad this is a sign that we are contaminated by impersonal philosophy ai krishna sama samparkito drobbo samoh ba krishner bhakto ke jodi apni grohon na koren tahole bujhte hobe er moddhe onek samasya ache eta kolushito hridayer porichay we may have to worship the, that person may have to worship the deity for many lifetimes before he advances ar tai se ei unnati labh to tar sudur porahoto onek jibon tar chole jabe ei bhabe one then gradually you can come to the higher level to understand the, the importance of the Lord's holy name and the position of the Lord's devotees. So to come to that level of actually engaging in the different angas of bhakti will take some time for this kanista tai kanister ektu samoy lagbe bhaktir bibhinno ango guloke jotha jotha bhabe onushilan korte but gradually he starts to understand the importance of devotees and he makes friends with them and he appreciates pramanne sei bhakter gurutto bujhte parbe tader shonge bandhutto korbe and he thinks so even about engaging other people in the service of the lord ebong tar pole se onno der ko and he loses his interest in anything which is not connected with Krishna so Srila Prabhupada arranged Krishna conscious society in such a way that anyone who joins the Krishna consciousness movement they can immediately take up preaching work for Krishna কৃষ্ণবাবু <laughs> for their maintenance to maintain their material to maintain their life then this is not good ar jodi keu ekhane ese mone kore je o tar jibon dharone jene shudhumatro ortho sangraha korben ar ei somosto bishoy gurutto deben na tahole seta motei bhalo na this is again the third class devotee the kanista tendency ar punorai ei third class ba nimno porjayer bhakto bole poribonito hobe ha Oh really okay 
So we'll take some of them. Well, that's, nobody will claim that they're Uttama, nobody is going to claim like that. Everybody thinks, uh, you know, the, the devotee will, is humble. They think I'm fallen soul, I'm the lowest. So it's up to every individual to evaluate and to study the person to make their own judgment. Just like you want to have a guru, you have to know what is the qualification of a guru. If you don't know the qualification of a guru, then you won't be able to understand who is actually the guru. And your judgment will be different from others. Not everybody will have the same judgment. So everyone has to decide for themselves. So one person may judge, oh, this person, he's a very powerful, very advanced, and somebody else may say, oh, no, no, I don't think so. So everybody has their own judgment. So when it comes to initiation, everybody has to make their own choice who they want to take initiation. You have to make your own choice. Who is Kanista and who is Madhyam, who is Uttama? But if you don't know, the qualifications you won't be able to understand. So you have to learn the philosophy first. How can we know if we're making advancement? Does it depend on Krishna's mercy or does it depend on our own spiritual practice? It depends on both. You need both. You need Krishna's mercy and you need to do spiritual practice. Next question. A, a devotee said that what, uh, because he's not yet initiated, whatever devotional service he did is meaningless. Is, a, is this a true statement? No, this is not a true statement. Because the activities which he did before initiation are preparing him and qualifying him for initiation. So a question from the Bhagavad Gita, because in the Bhagavad Gita Krishna says uh, that we are all eternal, we are eternally individuals, but at the same time there's a type of liberation where we can merge 
into the oneness of the Brahman. So do we lose our individuality when we merge into the oneness? Bhagavad Gita take a prasana, Yarana Krishna Bolajan, Atma, Sabsamaj, Inmaya Bam Satantra, Tarostita Raja, Avar Ja Pach Prakare Ja Mukti Achatata Sajja Mukti, Jekane Bhagavana Sange, Jib Akwe Jave, Satatamiki Kurasam. No, we, we never lose our individuality, even though we enter into the oneness of the Brahman, we, we, we don't have the consciousness of being an individual, but there is that oneness, that feeling of oneness in the Brahma Jyoti, where there's no variety, there's no relationships, there's only the oneness, but at the same time we're an individual. So they enter into the Brahma Jyoti, they stay there. There's no activity, there's no variety, no relationship, only this oneness. So after some time they become bored and they come back into the material world. Because the soul's nature is to have activity and have relationships. So the, a question is raised that somebody is giving class who is only a Kanista devotee on the lowest platform and sometimes he says things which are not always correct. So what should we do? Should we continue to listen to the class or should we go away? <laughs> So someone's giving class, if they say something you don't agree with, then you should discuss it. You should raise the point. You should say, oh, I, I don't agree with this, or this is not correct. Uh, after he's spoken for some time, then you should make a note and you should discuss all the points which are controversial. Why is he always the one to give class? Why don't you give the class? You're saying he's Kanista, why don't you give the class? You're finding fault, you know more than him. You're saying you know more than him, he's saying something wrong, you see something wrong or what he's saying. So you give the class. You don't, not that he has to give every class. But you should go to class. And if you're not going to hear, then you should speak. You can ask questions. There's always time for, there should always be time for discussion, not only hear the class and no questions.
uh, hearing people's classes, we may judge them, but we should think everyone is more advanced than myself. So should I offer, should I, th should I hear the classes in that way? Should I think that they're more advanced than me, more qualified than me? We should think devotees are more advanced than us. Other devotees are more advanced than us. That's a very nice. <laughs> okay. Eta khub sundor je ami khub nichu adhampati tar onno bhakto onek unnato. Ei dharone khub bhalo. Yes, if you think devotees are more advanced than you, that's very nice and you will be humble and respectful and deal with them nicely. Ah ha. Eta jokhon apni onno bhakto ko to unnato ebong samman korben but the question is made, this point is made when it comes to loving relationships. When you're going to inquire confidentially, you have to know who to inquire from. Don't just think, oh, everybody's more advanced than me. There are some, among those, who are, there, there will be some people who are more senior than others. So you have to recognize. Is it the same if we worship deities or if we worship photographs? Yeah, generally we worship photographs if we don't have the, you know, we're not, maybe not second initiated. Worship of the deity is done by people who are twice initiated. You should be twice initiated to worship the deity. And preliminary stage is to worship photographs. We will practice, we, be, we become qualified to worship the deity by first of all worshipping photographs. Before, before we bring the deity into the temple, first we will put photographs there and worship photographs and then establish the worship and see that we can worship the photographs regularly. Then when we see that we can do it regularly, then we may think about bringing the deity. <laughs> so you should get permission from the spiritual master before you bring the deity. And once you bring the deity, you have to maintain the worship. And you cannot just begin the worship and then stop and not do it. Sometimes people bring deities and then after some time they give the deity away to somebody else. That's not good. So first you worship photographs and become regular in the worship. And generally to worship deity, it's a lot for one person to do. It's better that there are more people sharing the activities, then you can worship the deity properly. And when women are contaminated in the monthly session period, then they cannot worship the deity. 
So then it's the duty of the man. So, so women's worship is irregular. We see in India they don't have the custom to have the women worship on the altar. Is that it? Any other question? No? Oh? Okay, we will stop here today. So tomorrow we will speak about the Madhyam Adhikari. Today we spoke about the Kanista. Tomorrow we will speak on the Madhyam Adhikari. Okay. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Good day, Manande.